Okay, here we are. The morning of the 11th day. And right now, all the chain link fence is in all the way to about right there. So this morning what they will do is they will come in and remove these forms, continue, put them in on this side, continue welding uh, the chain link there and they should be able to finish that uh, chain link all the way up to the to the 13 meter section after the chain link is put up and the forms are put in they will fill this up with cement and they should be able to do that all the way to the 13 meter section they should finish with everything except for the block that goes here and here so let's see what today brings the forms are being stripped off that wall and they will be installed here these guys and uh, you can't really you see one of them but the other one below the gate there they're getting ready to connect that chain link so they can continue welding and here you see the OG complaining because he was tied up while these guys took everything out so I'm gonna release him now to go and be a supervisor. You, what you got on your nose? Okay, they're delivering sand now. This will probably be the, the last load we need for this project. Okay. And over here, they're welding away. And in this corner, and in this corner here, they're going to start laying the blocks to the two rooms in the corner. Okay, so They've started laying the block over there in the corner that will go up even with the fence poles. So you've got 10 meters there and 4 meters here. And then Right here, from this pole to that pole, you have a six meter wall. These guys over here are starting to make some cement. So they can start filling in that form the fence is now up to here so they will join that last piece
and they will come to this corner here and then of course the forms will follow behind that so they can fill it then they will jump over to the 13 meter section over here and uh, they will do the same put up the chain link put some forms over on the other side and fill them up they should be done with the chain link and the cement today here I imagine after they do the 30 centimeter cement on top of the block they will do both of these columns for the gate but they have to take the forms off first okay we'll see what happens let me tell you what I'm doing here I put a T on the line coming from this well right here to right here to this pipe it runs this way and I put a T and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this thing and put it under the wall to the other side and I'm going to tell you why the supervisor supervising he's got one eye open this well right here feeds in a U. This is what gives water around the house and to all the trees and shrubs and what have you. Two weeks ago today, there was no water. So we called the well guy and it took him about five days to make it out. Finally, he came and he said, your check valve is bad. However, at the time that I made this little cover for it, not really realizing or anticipating any problems, I put the check valve on the outside of this with a 90 degree to put the pipe inside. So, he said, I can't get to that check valve, you're gonna have to drill a new well. Well, I wasn't taking that. So I dug it out myself, bypassed that valve, or actually cut the pipe, and put the valve on the inside of that cover. Hooked it all up, same problem. Talking to the neighbor, she told us that from time to time, uh, the wells that are not deep enough go dry. Well, this well was already here when we got the house, so I ran a string down in there and it's about three and a half, four meters. Not very deep. So, what I did is I looked for a different well guy. Couldn't find one. The neighbor said, the guy that has the cows can help you. So we talked to him and we're gonna see if he can flush that out, make it a little deeper, and if he can't, we're going with our original plan, and we're gonna put it right there, which is about half, it's about halfway on the fence. Then yesterday I started thinking, because that well there, is about nine meters 
and all it's lacking is a pump. Now I can take that pump from over there or buy a different one and put it here but it has no electricity so then you know one thing leads to another so what I decided to do for this project this pipe is actually a flush for the main water tank and every now and then as things settle you open it up it just goes to there and you dump it out well right now we're using it gravity feeding it to that blue barrel and then they just take buckets and get whatever they need so I decided what if I run a one inch pipe bring it in under the fence bring it up and connect it to this this is actually um, one of the lines that goes to that uh, well that's dry but what I can do is bring that pipe up and put a shutoff valve here I can put a shutoff valve here somewhere on on the surface and that that well can be independent if we get this well going that can be independent and when we drill a well here that can also be independent however I'm gonna take some additional pipe take this run it along the fence to the corner and over to here where the well will be the same thing will happen here this is where the uh, water line terminates from that well that's dry so I'm gonna run a pipe along over to the fence and then back over to this area where the other uh, well will be so I am going to take and tie three wells I'm going I'm going to tie three wells together and just put shut off valves and open and close as needed if something happens to one or the other I will never be out of water again unless they all dry at the same time now right now right now all these trees all these plants here have received very little water because uh, I have to do everything by bucket now I could use this to do that but these guys are using it and by the time they get done it's pretty much already dark so nothing happens okay let me dig in here go out to the bottom and out to the other side so I can get some pipe in here because Pretty soon they should be here, within a day, two, three days or so, I don't know, um, to bring in some dirt and fill this thing up. We'll see what happens. Okay, so there it is. I'll show you the other side in a little bit. Put a little bit of dirt here, and there's the line, so when they come, to fill in this and level this they can fill up the rest of this I hurt my back here 
a while back and oh let me tell you this was a job getting this done but it had to be done before the the uh, dirt comes in it's a lot easier to do it now okay so there's the pipe coming out later after we put a pump to this well here I'll flush all the lines out put a valve a shutoff valve here and make the connections I've got to dig into this and tie into that pipe but I'll do that later right now the important thing is to get that line in before the dirt comes up it's a lot easier to lay it down than to have to dig okay there it is just a little bit of dirt in there to cover up the hole at the bottom I still have to re-dig this thing here so just leave it like that okay Got the chain link all the way up to the corner of the gate and now they're moving over to the 13 meter section so they can do that these guys over here they're coming up on about to see two four six eight ten about 10 11 meters from the corner it's 34 meters so it's moving right along and over here on this corner wall it's going up he started on the third block so that's good what happened what is it what is it okay the party's over this character here was howling and howling because you could hear the other dog howling so monkey see monkey do ay uh, yeah, yeah. okay okay that corner is coming along there's four rows and it's going all the way to the top how many rows will it take? We'll find out. This is the first time I have heard this character do that. What is it? What is it? Okay, these guys are coming along. They've got about they've got about 10 meters to get to the to this gate thing here. Okay, there was a little bit of a snafu on this thing here. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I guess you can. The fence was put to the inside. Which is totally opposite of the other three sides. So it had to be taken back down. The plan changed because these two by twos and the four by fours were lined up for the fence to go on the inside and not the outside, which is not gonna work. So the plan changed and now we will terminate this panel here and then pick it up on the other side of the 4x4 four four. and it's okay it'll look kind of like that fence over there so it'll work okay and here as you can see that little wall is about halfway up and that's 10 meters and then as you make and go around the corner there that will be four meters up so let's see what happens 
Okay, as that fence meets this existing fence, the 4x4s will be extended and that chain link fence will tie in to the middle point. And then over here, there will be another 4x4 and the fence will go in between all the way down. To this to this wall right there okay they've got uh, five rows on each side and now they're going to move over to the six meter section and I imagine put five rows on there and then let them sit for tomorrow so it can support the other section going up and on the 13 meter side they have all the chain link up they put the first 4x4 there on the ground they have the other 4x4s that will go on top of this fence but that'll get done tomorrow today they've got the forms in there and they're pouring cement concrete in there they're pouring concrete so that it'll set for tomorrow okay so I was wrong they moved the they moved the tub over to the 13 meter section so that they can finish that because it is 440 so they're gonna finish that they're gonna put the concrete in the 30 centimeter section and then I guess it'll be time to go home. Okay, so here's the end of the day. So all the chain link is all the way around. The 30 centimeter concrete pour is done all the way around. The wall 10 meters by 4 meters is about halfway up the six meter section which is right there will be started tomorrow so tomorrow they should finish this wall and then put some forms in there pour concrete into those columns there and then this section of wall should go up but we'll see this tomorrow the OG likes it he's just going crazy out there I think he's gonna really enjoy this fenced in area Got a lot of room to run a lot of room to get in trouble Well, he's behind the plastic. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you. Bye bye.